UNICEF, together with uh, the Ministry of Gender, Children, Social Protection, were involved in uh, a, a meeting that the Christian Council of Ghana called at uh, La Pleasure Beach Hotel. Now, that meeting was to help the Christian Council of Ghana leaders and our members to understand uh, the bill on social protection. During this meeting, uh, the minister shared with us government policies and government direction, especially the idea that the current administration is building what we have heard the president of our land, uh, Nana Kufuadu, saying that we are building Ghana beyond aid. Now, that sounds very wonderful that we as a sovereign nation must build our economy and must build every facet of our life that we don't depend so much for any, on anybody for survival. But there's a challenge that Ghana beyond aid uh, uh, policy also raises for us, those uh, of us who are into civil society groups, uh, NGOs, because there are NGOs and other civil society groups that depend on other donor agencies. We are in the rural areas providing water, HIV and AIDS care, many more. Now we don't depend on government, but we depend on aid from other bodies. Now with this understanding, uh, it means that aid coming to the faith communities, NGOs, and, and uh, civil society groups are going to cut because that is how the uh, community, the world uh, our community we want to see as that Ghana is beyond aid. We are not saying that we should drop that policy. Ghana must indeed uh, go beyond aid. But that is why we are requesting the president and his administration to build infrastructure that civil society groups that when we are close to election, when we are in crisis, are able to uh, help us close the inequalities in Ghana can also, uh, 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 you know, go in for such funding and such resources to do what we have been doing so that we can all be part of the Ghana Beyond Eight. If Ghana Beyond Eight is just because uh, Ghana is a middle-income economy and its government and economics and its GDP, we want to sound this warning that the NGOs and the civil society groups that have been into the peace industry during election, who are into HIV and AIDS, who are giving water uh, and other things to, to communities, poor communities, people suffering inequalities are going to crash. <laughs>